all right guys welcome back this is your old pal honda doing another video for you guys on some string trimmer line and how to replace the line in the rapid replace head on most husqvarna string trimmers if you don't know how to do this i'm going to show you how to do it and we're going to do a review on this universal trimmer line it's 095 and also they also make it in a 080 as well and a 060 over at Harbor Freight, this is basically Harbor Freight uh, Wee Whacker line. I like 9095 line for most of my Husqvarna string trimmers. That is a good uh, go-to line for most of these rapid replace heads or the T25 heads or the T35 heads as well. Uh, this stuff has, but this is actually a line that I have not seen anybody review. And uh, this is the Harbor Freight uh, 095 nylon 200 feet 6.1 millimeter line which is like an octagon shape uh, it's not rounded line that i'm used to using but um or i would recommend you a you know a rounded type of line over any weird uh, angle type of lines but you will need about seven arm lengths or six arm lengths of this line in order to feed it into the head by pulling the line out of the back like this you pull like you hold it like this one arm length two arm lengths three arm lengths oh. you know four arm lengths i will say that right there and a little bit more um okay then you want to take the line like this and get a nice little loop in it now if you have some garden trimmers you could just cut that off if you don't have that and you got like maybe one of these like little um line cutters like steel line cutters or you know husqvarna line cutters you just put it in a loop like this and then just touch the tip of it and it cuts it so there you go that's how you cut it off <laughs> and uh we'll take you over to the bench and show you how to put the line on a husqvarna rapid replace head okay the next step you guys got to do is find on the rapid replace head where it twists you want to find the hole that the line goes through you got to twist it until you find it and when you find the hole where the line goes, you got to make sure you got good lighting for this. To find the hole. Once you find the hole, you take one piece of your line, stick it through the hole, all the way through the hole, and it'll come out the other end like this. Now, once you get it through the hole, you want to lay this on the ground and get the line tip to tip even with it. By pulling it backwards like this, all the way back, until you get the line tip to tip where you think it, it's even on both sides. Once you get it, the line even in length, then you start cranking it in. And that's then you can start cranking it in and it's as easy as that guys okay guys now we got the line evenly um even in length on both sides by sitting it on the ground now the daunting task is to basically wind your line in counterclockwise and once you wind it in a little bit you might want to pull on it a little bit make sure it's tight in there wind it a little bit pull on it wind it a little bit you know pull on it a little bit wind it some more and pull on it a little bit and just keep winding it pull it tight a little bit so it ain't loose on the inside until you get about about you know an even length amount 
That way, the uh, little razor blade on the uh, on the uh, weed guard will cut off little bits to you know make it fit. And I think the uh, the rapid replace head on the Husqvarna string trimmers are phenomenal. I think they're great. Let's try to you know let's test this head out and see how it works. If we can get the machine started. I'm showing you how this uh, Harbor Freight line works and see if it's any good. If, if it's any good, um, I'll recommend it. If not, I won't recommend it. So um, this is also a video on the Harbor Freight line as well. And uh, it's an octagon like shaped, but we'll see how it comes off of the head. If it comes off easy, there's no issues with it coming off of the head, I will recommend it. If it holds up fairly well, I'll recommend it as well. Okay, see you guys out in the yard mowing.
Okay guys, um, that has been the testing video on the Universal trimmer line from Harbor Freight. Um, my final thoughts on the line. Um, I guess there's some applications for this for uh, commercial use, for doing commercial lawn maintenance. Um, for a good residential line, I recommend it. It has the same break off point to me as maybe uh, Black Diamond. I did a couple tests with Black Diamond. I went around a few of the garden bricks with it, hit some wooden fence with it, and it I had to bump it twice. So that's pretty good, actually. I mean, so if you guys are on the on the fence about uh, Harbor Freight's string trimmer line, guys, um, this stuff is great. I recommend it. Uh, you know, if you don't want to buy any other kind of line, I just bought this on a whim just to test it out since there's no videos out there actually testing out the universal trimmer line from harbor freight it works really good it comes off the head really good it, it doesn't bind in the head at all I'm, i didn't have any issue with that at all um it has the normal break offs of most nylon uh string trimmer lines so i i, I if i had to give it a rating like a five out of zero star rating i'd give it a four i think it's a little bit better than black diamond to be honest uh, there was a little bit of an uh, issue, though, I had with it whenever I was using it. Unlike, uh, you know, because it has this octagon um, design to it, it does send a lot of wash and vibration into the, the, uh, into the machine in your hand, which is not terrible, but, you know, that's why I like rounded line better than a weird shape looking line for string trimming. But other than that, it's a it seems to be a pretty tough and rugged uh, string trimmer line. So if you guys are on the fence about buying it just because it's Harbor Freight and you don't think it's going to work good, it does work good. I give it two thumbs up, guys. So if you see the stuff at Harbor Freight, get it. If not, go to Wal go to Lowe's or Walmart, get Weed Warrior Pulverizer or get you know Steel Line or whatever. But if you're on, this is about the same price as Steel Line. Uh, rounded line most of the uh, lines at Lowe's from Shakespeare I mean it's it's about on par with that stuff and it works just as good I've used some Shakespeare stuff and it works pretty good I think it works better than Shakespeare stuff but uh, if y'all like this uh, video I do recommend it please hit the like share and subscribe and leave a comment and tell me what you think of this video this has been your old pal Hondo signing out Peace out, everybody.